We start with the latest developments on the apparent murder of Kim Jong-nam, the half-brother of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Malaysian authorities have released more evidence that Pyongyang itself might have been behind the killing. One of two newly identified North Korean suspects was working directly for the regime. Malaysian police added that the attack had been planned and the women who carried it out had received training. Guan Zhang -oh starts us off. At a lively press conference on Wednesday morning, Khalid Abu Bakar, Malaysia's police chief, revealed that they are seeking two more North Korean men related to the murder of Kim Jong-nam. The first is 44-year-old Hyung Gwang Sung, who is said to be the second secretary of the North Korean embassy in Kuala Lumpur. The other is 37-year-old Kim Ugil, an employee of the North Korean airline Air Korea. The chief said both are believed to be in the country and have asked the embassy to help find them. Regarding five other previously identified North Korean suspects, the chief said that one is still thought to be in Malaysia, but that the other four are strongly believed to have returned to Pyongyang. They have asked the North Korean authorities to assist with locating them and to hand them over. Concerning the suspects already in custody, the chief rejected claims by the women who allegedly carried out the attack that they did not know that they would hurt someone. The Vietnamese and Indonesian suspects were seen covering Kim's face with a cloth but said they didn't know it was poisonous and thought they were simply taking part in a TV show prank. Well, I think you have seen the video, right? You have seen the the uh, the, uh, the the caption. You see the lady were moving away with their, her hands like this towards the bathroom, towards the washroom. So she knew very well that it is toxic and she needs to wash her hands. The chief added that the attack was premeditated, that the women had been trained, and that the other men they are seeking were heavily involved as well. On Ri Jongchol, the only North Korean that has been arrested so far. The chief did not give further details, simply saying he was being investigated. Also on Wednesday, the North Korean ambassador to Malaysia called for the release of Ri and the two women in jail, saying the police had produced no evidence of poisoning or foul play. The ambassador has previously claimed that the victim died of a heart attack and accused the police of colluding with external forces, resulting in a deterioration of diplomatic relations between the two countries. An initial autopsy result has ruled out a heart attack, but the cause of death has not been announced as the toxicology results are still pending. Kwon Jao, Arirang News. Now, as a follow-up to that report, a U.S. senator is calling for North Korea to be put back on the State Department's state sponsors of a terror list. Speaking with Seoul based Yonhap News Agency on Wednesday, Republican Senator Cory Gartner said the suspected assassination of Kim Jong-nam was another reminder of North Korea's brutality.